Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Git diff, um, how to use it, when to use it, and how to decipher its output. Uh, before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below, uh, and you'll get updates for future videos. All right, let's jump in. Uh, let's create a Git repository. So we'll do a Git init here. Um, we'll create a file with the word hello in it, uh, file.txt. And then let's let's add that into our repository. So we can add it to staging area. We'll do a git commit, just call it initial. Uh, and that should be in there. Now, when you run git diff with no um, parameters, by default, it'll try and do a compare of everything on your disk that's changed against the repository. Um, it won't show things that have changed that you've added to the staging area. You have to provide a flag for that. Um, so by default, it will, like I say, see what's different on your disk against the repository. We haven't changed that file yet. It's the same on my disk as it is in the repository. So let's give it, let's make a change to it. If I open up code here, um, and click on that and say, right, we've added text to line two, and we save that off. Um, so if I do a git diff now, we will get some output. So what's this showing us? The important information here um, is kind of down here and here. But let's go through these lines. It's basically saying we're comparing two versions of the same file, um, file.txt. We've got version A and version B. We've got um, the hashes of those files and a mode here that's saying it's a uh, non-executable, I think that one is. Um, and then we're saying, right, version A is gonna be depicted by minus signs and version B by pluses. So that's when we, when we come down in here, whenever we see a minus, we know we're looking at the old version, this, this one here. And when we see a plus, we're looking at the new version. And so that's here and here. So minuses and pluses is what we're looking for. Now, this line here, what is this talking about? It's got a minus here. So this is information about the original file. And it's saying we're going to see one line from it in this text below. And that's the hello. And then we've got a plus here. So this is now talking about the new version of the file. And what it's saying is we're going to see two lines starting from line one. So there's a one, a comma and two here, different to this. And that's because our file only had one line. As soon as we add some more to this, this format will be um, number, comma, number as well. And we'll show that. So this is trying to give us some information about what's below. So we've got two lines. Yeah, the new file has got hello and added to text. So it has got two lines in it. So we can see that that kind of fits. Um, let's... Let's um, let's add that to the staging area um, and show also that that means git diff by default won't do anything now because it's not comparing staged files, just comparing modified files. We can get it to show it, but we need to say cached. When you specify that, it will compare staged files against the repository. And so we're seeing the same information there as we did before. Um, so if I commit this one, and we say, what did we do? We did added text line two. Um, and you'll definitely see there's no, no data coming back from git diff now because everything is in sync. Um, the file on our disk matches the file in our repository again. So let's go, let's go and change it again. Let's add a few lines now so that that, that information we were seeing We'll just put the last line out there so we can match. So we've got a few more lines there now. Um, so when I do a git diff by default again now, we will see this information now is consistent for the old file in that we've got one comma two and the new file and we've got one comma eight. Um, that's because uh, when we checked it in, we then had two lines in there. So this is saying for the, the old file, we're going to see below here 
Starting at line one in the file, we're going to see two lines. So that is the hello here, um, and this added text to line two. What we're then seeing for the new file, starting at line one, is we're going to see eight lines. Um, so we've got the hello, we've got this line, the added text, and then our hellos. Um, so one, we've got one, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so that's those eight lines there, and these are the two lines from the original file there. All right. Um, so in terms of understanding that output, you know, this the the deciphering this line here is kind of kind of what you need to know. This is all good information, but it doesn't is not really going to change too much. This this tells you what's going on below in our difference file here. Um, right, um, so let's add that again. Git add, which means git diff won't show anything unless we do git diff dash dash cached. And then we get the information again. Uh, and then once we commit it, get lots of lines that time. Um, now we're in sync, so git diff is not going to show us anything. All right, so that's using it um, without any parameters, but we can specify which files we want to compare. So if we look at, um, we do a log, git log, and I'll just make it a little bit easier to read with one line. I can specify two files on my git and get them to compare. So let's, and I can use um, either the hash here um, or head for the latest. And for this one, I would use the hash for sure. So let's, let's do that. Let's do git diff, and I want 7f93c, and I want to compare it to 55c4d. Right, if I run that, similar information as what we were um, seeing. In fact, exactly the same as what we were seeing uh, with that git diff before I committed it. So we're seeing um, one line from the old file. So starting at one line, Starting at line one, two lines. That's the hello and the added text there. And again, starting at line one, eight lines from the new file. So you can specify two files to um, compare with git diff, like so. And you can also do that um, rather than saying the, the hash, we can compare it with the head. And again, that's going to give us exactly the same information there. Um, and you can compare files um, across branches as well, if you like. Um, but yeah, that is the essence of git diff um, and understanding um, its output. Hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if not. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.